this is on the new cell. So they're already dumping on the new cell. This is Bob. Bob turned the digger around because he doesn't want to have his face shown. If you could stand here and smell this, I'd like to tell the people that think this is clean soil to come up here and smell it. You can smell the hydrocarbons. You can see it. And there's Bob doing Bob's job. Bob's a local boy, you know. Shaking his head at me. Yeah, because he doesn't like to be filmed. So here's the new cell, people. This is going to be bringing us crap from all over the world because they can bring it in by barge if they want because Christy Clark doesn't care. They can do whatever they want up here. They don't have to care. Bob doesn't care. Bob gets a paycheck and he gets to live in his house up on, on Baldy Mountain. Yep. Good job, Bob. Oh God, this stuff stinks. Uh, underneath the sand here is apparently a Leech 8 pipe that doesn't seem to be hooked up to anything. So we suspect that their leak detection pipe is not actually attached to catch any leaks because, well, they don't care. The only way you can put this is, well, they just don't care. Little man Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. Mmm. Doesn't that look nice? This is going to be sitting above Shawnigan Lake. Forever, people. Forever. They're not going to take this anywhere. They're not going to clean it. They're not going to bioremediate it. They're just going to leave it here. Forever and ever and ever. Oh, man. And these liners, these plastic liners, you can see right there. Let me just zoom in on that thickness of that liner. See it? That line is gonna last for billions of years, according to their lawyer, until the sun explodes. Yeah, don't think so. We already know what's leaking, and we've already seen the underneath here, where he's moving right now, the liner from up above and the liner from down below didn't even meet. Wow, I wonder how that's gonna work. Yeah, I gotta go. This is just too smelly.